Hello everyone. In this video, I'm going to show you how to enable network access for your storage accounts. When you have successfully configured this, you will only be able to access the storage account from the virtual network. So let's get started by creating the resources that we need on Azure. As you can see here, I have prepared a script that will create a resource group and a storage account and a virtual machine on Azure. With this virtual machine, there will be virtual network deployed as well. So let me copy these commands and execute this on my Azure PowerShell. All my resources are on Azure now. They are ready. Let me show you on the portal as well. As you can see, we have the storage account and the virtual machine as well and also my virtual network. Now let me go into this virtual machine and copy its IP address so that I can RDP into it and then I'm going to install Azure Storage Explorer in this virtual machine. Alright, now I have installed Storage Explorer on the VM. Now let me go back to my Azure portal and to that resource group and I'm going into this storage account and then containers and then I'm going to create a new container like this. So let me call it um, sample container and then I'm going to create it here and then I'm going into it and uploading a sample file. I have this Azure icon, I'm going to upload it. Alright, I'm going to click upload. Okay, now let me try to access it from my local machine now. I'm going into storage account and access keys. And this is the storage account name. I'm going to copy that. And from my local machine, from my local laptop, I'm going to connect to that storage account. So I'm going to select storage account or service. And then I'm going to use account name and key like this. And then the display name, it's going to be, let me call it storage one. Um, account name is this. And account key, I'm going back. Click on show keys and copy this key. And I'm going to paste it here. As you can see, I have just added the connection. Now if I go into Explorer and Attached, here you will see my container. And in that container, you will be able to open this file as well. As you can see, it is accessible from my local machine. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going into this storage account and then I'm going into networking section and then I'm going to allow access from not all networks but selected networks. When you change this configuration you can attach your existing virtual networks to be authenticated with your storage account. Now let me click on add existing virtual network and here you will see the virtual network that we have created with our virtual machine and then the subnet. I'm going to select this subnet here. All right. And here you will see the description of what we are going to do and the service endpoint status is not enabled. So let me click enable. As you can see, we have this enabled message here. Let me click add. All right. Now we have this virtual network attached to this storage account. Now the next thing that I should do is I should click save here. Alright, now I'm going back to the storage account and let me show you something. I'm going into this virtual network and if I go into service endpoint section here you will see there's a service endpoint configured for storage accounts in this virtual network and this service endpoints enables the access to your storage account from this virtual network subnet. Now let me go back to the storage explorer that is installed on my machine and let me try to connect again and let's see whether that works. Now if I try to open it, as you can see I'm getting this message. I cannot access this from my local machine. But now let me go to that storage account and then access keys. And then I'm going to copy the storage account name again and I'm going back to the virtual machine. And here I'm passing this and the display name I'm going to call it storage1 as before and account name is this. This is the key. I have copied it. 
and let me try to connect it from my virtual machine as you can see the connection is successfully added now let me go into this storage account and containers and as you can see i can view the image from my virtual machine that is installed in the virtual network and this is how you enable network access to your storage accounts using service endpoints hope you learned something new today if you have any questions or comments leave them down below and if you want to be updated with my future videos please subscribe to my channel and thanks for watching